Yo, yo, yo. What's good? We're back with another one, man. You already know. Man, this right here is about your boy Jake Paul, man. He was supposed to be, you know, that whole Mike Tyson thing. He was supposed to be the biggest, you know, internet thing besides like a Charleston White or Woody or something like that. You know, and uh, it's been postponed many times. You know, um, so yeah, it's been postponed a million times and, uh, it's like, uh, now he comes back on and he has the belly. So it's like, what are you trying to say? You're not ready to fight Mike Tyson now, you know, and he's working out with the belly, eating snacks, you know, got the big belly. I don't know if it's fake, it's real, whatever. I don't know how you would get that much weight that quick, but, you know, um, that's kind of weird. And, uh, you know, saying that, hey, you know, him and Tyson supposed to be going at it. And uh, now they got a lot of things that they're alleging, you know, I'm going to say alleged, you know, with he has going on and I'm not going to tell y'all what it is. Y'all got to check this video out. Let me know what y'all think. And once y'all check it out, drop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about this whole situation. And we're going to go from there and, uh, you know, uh, let's see what's going on to the bottom of this and his whole situation. He's been quiet and now he done came out and now he got a pot belly and he got some stuff going on with, you know, a, like, Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Run them likes up. Run that subscribes up for me, man. I appreciate all the love and support. Once again, y'all stay blessed. Best and stay warm. Stay safe. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. I'm out. The FBI says they're investigating allegations of criminal acts for an incident that happened back. So the feds just raided Jake Paul's house and what they found has taken the fight world by storm. You heard that right. The problem child has made a name for himself in boxing, but this latest twist in his controversial career has left everyone speechless. What could possibly be hiding in Jake's mansion that's sending shockwaves through the boxing world? Well, a ton of weapons. Now, having firearms isn't exactly shocking, especially in the world of celebrities. But here's the kicker. The amount of weapons they found in Jake's mansion. That's what's got everyone talking. We're not talking about a couple of handguns for self-defense. The feds reportedly found a whole arsenal of assault rifles and enough ammo to stir up some real trouble. What makes it worse? The authorities think this insane stockpile could be tied to something much bigger, a crime that Jake Paul might be caught up in. His dirty dealings are out in the open now, and this isn't just some minor hiccup. We're talking about a full-blown scandal that's not only threatening his upcoming fight with Mike Tyson on November 15th, 2024, but could also destroy his entire career. Forget about stepping into the ring. Jake might be stepping into a courtroom instead. If these accusations stick, it's game over for him, and his boxing legacy might go down the drain faster than anyone expected. Let's break it down. All right, so let's start from the top. Over the weekend, federal agents swarmed Jake Paul's mansion in Calabasas, California, and it wasn't just your average knock on the door. This was a full-on, guns-drawn tactical raid. Apparently, the authorities had been keeping an eye on Paul for a while, and when they finally made their move, they found some things that no one expected. It's after an FBI raid at his home in Calabasas. Sky 5 was over the scene Wednesday morning as federal agents entered Paul's home in a gated community off Mulholland Highway. Early in the morning, the feds rolled up with a whole squad, helicopters overhead and agents decked out in tactical gear. Not exactly the kind of wake-up call anyone expects, right? And then things got even crazier. Once inside, agents didn't just find some basic weapons for self-defense, as you might expect from a celeb living in a mansion that's worth millions. No, they found a stockpile of guns. We're talking assault rifles, semi-automatic weapons, the whole nine yards. It was a collection that raised a whole lot of eyebrows, not just for what it was, but for what it could mean. A stash of weapons that big isn't normal, even for someone like Jake, who's known for his wild antics. They said they have a warrant for Jake. Well, the feds didn't just stumble upon these weapons by chance. They were specifically looking for connections to something much larger, potentially international crime. Yeah, we're not talking about some petty crime here. There's speculation that these weapons could be linked to underground activities that stretch far beyond the borders of the U.S. Some sources are even suggesting Jake Paul could be connected to criminal networks that operate internationally. That's huge news, especially when you think about how far Jake's influence not just in boxing, but on YouTube, social media, and pop culture as a whole. For trespassing. Hey, hey. Come, on, come on, please. Hey, what's up, guys? 
And this isn't Jake's first run-in with the law either. If you've been following Jake Paul's journey, you'll know he's no stranger to legal troubles. Let's rewind for a second. Remember back in 2020 when Jake was caught up in a riot at an Arizona mall? Yeah, that incident didn't just blow over. He was hit with criminal charges for trespassing and unlawful assembly. And it wasn't just a slap on the wrist. The footage of Jake roaming around the mall during the looting incident made headlines worldwide, and it damaged his reputation big time. But of course, Jake being Jake, he managed to bounce back, at least in the public eye. He settled those charges, brushed it off, and continued with his influencer lifestyle. But clearly, he didn't learn his lesson because here we are again, with another legal nightmare. And this time, the stakes are much, much higher. Get this. Jake was gearing up for what would have been the biggest fight of his entire career, a match against the one and only Mike Tyson at the iconic AT&T Arena in November 2024. This fight had all the hype. I mean, it's Iron Mike, one of the most feared fighters in boxing history, going up against Jake Paul, the YouTuber turned boxing sensation who's been shaking up the fight world. This wasn't just a regular fight, it was supposed to be the fight that would either cement Jake's legacy in the sport or expose him as a wannabe who bit off more than he could chew. The world was watching, and fans were buzzing, counting down the days until this showdown went down. But now, this raid might have thrown a massive wrench into everything, and there's a real chance that Jake won't even be able to put the gloves on and step into the ring against the legend. For Jake, this fight was supposed to be his golden ticket to proving to everyone that he's more than just a YouTube sensation with a big mouth. Over the past few years, Jake's been grinding in the boxing world, slowly but surely carving out a name for himself. From his early days of fighting other influencers to stepping into the ring with real fighters, Jake's rise in boxing has been nothing short of wild. Remember when he took on former NBA star Nate Robinson? Yeah, that was the fight where Jake knocked him out cold and the internet went crazy. Memes, reactions, and Jake's cocky celebration were everywhere. That fight was the moment people started to take him seriously, or at least question whether this guy actually had the skills to back up his trash talk. Then there was Ben Askren. Now, Askren might not have been the most dangerous striker, but he's an MMA veteran, and that fight was supposed to test Jake's limits. But guess what? Jake made quick work of him, knocking Askren out in the first round. And suddenly people weren't just questioning whether Jake had potential, they were actually believing it. He was becoming a legit player in the game. But the fight that really shook things up was against Anderson Silva. We're talking about one of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. Silva is a legend in combat sports, and for Jake to even step into the ring with him was a massive deal. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. I'm not fat. He should be lean and mean. He's fat and funky. I it's heavyweight. He Fuck you, Mike. I, just, I don't know if he's in his prime. He's fat. He should be lean and mean. He's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt up the other day. He's fat. I just... See, people want to know how I got to where I'm at. Life is full of speed bumps. And the thing about speed bumps is the concrete arch dimension is how you have to get over the top when you're talking to me in regular life, which is motivating and commitment to the discipline on a regular basis. See, people these days expect everything to be handed straight to them without working for the discipline within the ground to become the self-motivating inner, inner self, meditate and take three ice baths ice bath if you look good and smell good that is how you get w's in life so stay disciplined and that's how you make money even when it says check engine low psi on tires and you didn't make this month's payment you have to keep driving in the direction towards your dreams manifestation <laughs>